What's up, y'all? This is Talon Ofunga, safety for the San Francisco 49ers, and this is a day in my life for my off day. Let's go. Got to get that breakfast in. Make sure your body feeling right for, for a long season, you know? It's very different than college, you know? You're going through a season of 20 plus games, including preseason. A little Tuesday action right here. So you got the eggs, you got the fruit. Can't forget the bacon. It's the most crucial part. We're Polynesian, man. Food is everything. Cooked pig. You put it, the pig in the ground, they call it the umu. And that thing coming out crispy. Like, I, I'll probably say it's one of the coolest traditions we have in our culture. Uh, something that's special to me. I got my poly jeans. I'm about to get big when I'm done. I'm eating good, so I can't complain. I love what I do, and I pretty much do what I love. Something like this, you know, making sure all your things are written up is always going to help you in the long run. Not a lot of people understand what it takes to really be a high-level athlete. It all comes down to preparation. And so if you prepare, great things will happen. Hey, but my egg turned out good, though. <laughs> this is the final product. Don't blast me from my cooking. The off your off day, like, you can't just sleep in. We got workouts. You got your meetings all set up. We got film review. Got to take those steps to get ready for Sunday. Now that I got this breakfast in, we about to hit this workout, and then got a good meeting with Big Uncle Jesse with the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame. We at the gym with it. Come on now. Yes, sir. Get that work in. Get your mind right. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. They say it's a grind. It's a grind. Got on the schedule today. We got, we got some bench press. Got some pec flies. Little dips, burpees, and a little sprints just to get your body active, you know what I mean? It's go time. Let's get it. You know, honestly, college, you know, you show up and the plan is set out for you, you know. Everybody does the same plan, whether you're offensive line, defensive line. In the NFL, it's more catered to you, catered towards your strengths, your weaknesses, what you need to develop. And so, you know, a lot of the plan is really how you feel and how your body feels. The reason I track a lot of what I do is to really know what works and what doesn't. Like, you want to be able to have a plan put together so when you come back to it and you can reference something, we we'll continue to build off of that. As a professional athlete, you got to make sure you train at the highest level, but continue to take care of your body because the best ability is availability. Obviously, you know, I spend a lot of time in the gym, but I probably spend just as much time watching film, drawing up plays. You know, I'm always going to the defense coordinator, telling them this blitz should work, this will work. That's something I just love. I love football so much. It's a passion of mine. And so always drawing stuff up. Simple as that. Defense makes the play, and that's a Niners win. Tease. That's a wrap from the gym. About to go get showered up, and I'll get some lunch, and I'll see you guys back at the house. Back here at the house, just finished my training. Got a meeting with my Uncle Jesse at the Polynesian Football Hall of Fame. Big mentor of mine, I call him Uncle just because it's a term of respect. Let me get on the call and see what he got to say. What up, Uncle? What's up, Dad? Hey, what's the latest on the Polynesian Bowl? Yeah, there's a lot of exciting things happening. We're the first high school all-star game to be televised on NFL Network, which is something that yourself and myself are very proud of. How did you feel when you played in the game? Man, that game was crazy. I played both ways. I played defense and offense. I still remember getting picked up and pile driven by a big Polynesian, and it didn't feel good. And so that's why I picked defense, so I could hit people instead of run the ball. <laughs> Being in the Polynesian Bowl, you were not only coming to play, but you became an ambassador. What, what does it feel like to become one of the torch bearers for the Polynesian players in the National Football League? It's a respect that's handed down from you guys. You know, and for me to continue to pass it down to the generations to come, it's a special feeling, you know, and with that, you know, the work ethic that comes with it, it has to be at the highest level and it has to be done the right way. So what else you got going for the rest of the day? I'm gonna take a look at my brand, you know, get some things drawn up. We got a big week this week, so gotta get on the film. So we got some review with my coach later today. And then I go to bed early, because Wednesday is usually the hardest day. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, Uncle. Passing the torch is something that I, I strive to do, but I appreciate everything you've done in my life. Anytime, proud of you, Dad. Man, off day. One thing I like to do on my off day is check in on my brand. Uh, something that's kind of unique to myself, something that my family, my friends help me put together. And it really shows the in-depth perspective of what football is to me, what my culture is to me, and what my family represents and the respect that it brings into it. So let's look at some of those designs. 
But one thing that's really cool to my brand and my culture is the Tongan community. So I put the big T's at, for emphasis. Based off the celebration that I do, I really throw the T's every time I make a play. Obviously, this is my game day shirt. It has all the different kind of flares to my lifestyle, the way I play. We got the shirt with the hair out. This is wild, look at it. The warrior mentality is the biggest mentality. I think that's why the haka, it's a, a chant, a war cry. It's something that you do before games. It really embodies what it means to be a Polynesian. A lot of times through high school, passing time, I used to just sketch things out. It's kind of what led me to my tattoo. You got the four different pinwheel designs in through here. It kind of represents my family because there's four people in my family. And all the arrows in my tattoo are all going up because when life pulls you down, you got to make sure you continue to go up. So that was kind of really special to me. And one of my favorite designs is on the backside, but my mom made sure I put it in here, it was the flowers. She loves flowers and it was something that was really cool to me. So I had to make sure I incorporated in that for her. I cook with y'all. I trained with y'all. I even took it into my culture. I got some of film review later today. I got more dinner. But for now, it's time for y'all to get out of here. Appreciate y'all though. Big T's and all that.